Well, we're just in North Bay this morning. Uh, we're about uh, it's a couple hour ride from our place, maybe two and a half, I'm not sure. Eight eight thirty right now. We left uh, oh a couple hours ago, maybe a little more. Should be there by about five or six o'clock, steady driving. It's eight thirty now. Maybe even earlier, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, so we'd try out this old three hundred and fifty dollar van we bought. It's a ninety eight GMC Safari van. I've done some work on it. Got it working pretty good, so we're gonna take her for a trip, see what she's like. We laid her down last night. Uh, we got down around, <clears throat> excuse me, 5, 5.30, somewhere around there. It's about the time we thought we'd get down here. My cousin and I, uh, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna do a little video together very shortly. He bought an RV. He's interested in the off-grid lifestyle as well. I'll show you what he's got planned, and uh, show you around his RV. One kilometer. Okay, well my uh, GPS is telling me telling me where to go and how to get there, so uh, talk to you guys later. Okay folks, anyway I got back to uh, Don's place there. He lives in Port Bruce. That's where we were heading when I was talking to you in uh, North Bay. Just in case I don't put up the, the follow-up videos of when I was coming down. Anyway, here's here's my cousin Don. He bought himself an RV. I'll show you the RV really quickly. It's a 77 Dodge. I believe it has a 318 in it. I think that's what he said. Uh, anyway, uh, pretty decent looking unit inside and out. And he's going to be getting out on the road soon. And I believe he may be taking a trip north. We come down here for the nicer weather. And uh, well, they have green grass here, but it's quickly getting covered with snow. Anyway, folks, uh, here's Don. Don, you want to say hi? Hey, YouTubers, how's it going? So anyway, uh, maybe he can take us for a tour of his RV, yeah. and uh, we'll see what it looks like inside. How's that well, sound? It sounds great. I think you brought this weather with you though from the <laughs> north because it was great before you guys showed up. Yeah, it was. It was very. It was really nice and warm. Yeah, we got hit with this pretty hard just out of the sudden, but uh, yeah, this is it. Um, Seventy-seven retro cruiser, big dreams. Um, Come on inside, let's have a look around it. Okay, we'll take a look. I'll let you go first in here. Thank you. I don't know if there's much light, but... Um, no, things are showing up pretty good. It's He's had the engine cover off, the doghouse, whatever you want to call it. It has sat for a while. I believe that's what you're telling me, right, Don? You said yeah, it sat for a while? about two years um, in storage or whatever. Carb's not working too great. Um, overall condition though, the ceiling's not leaking. Uh, for a 77, it's a pretty solid outfit. Um, hope to do some boondocking and a little uh, off-gridding with it. Uh, prep it up the way I want it. Get it out there, see what it does. Uh, wanted something simple to work on. Uh, no computers. Hopefully easy, something I'm familiar with a bit. And this seemed like a pretty good buy for, uh, you know, you gotta check out and see what you wanna do. And I want to go places you don't want to take a nice shiny outfit, that's for, for sure. Because, for sure, yeah. you know, you get scratches and oh, clearance yeah. was big. It's got lots of ground clearance. So, yeah, I think it's going to be, it suits my needs well. Um, hopefully, you know, it runs good. And, uh, you know, we'll make it run good if it doesn't. Oh, yeah. You got the skills for that. And, uh, you know, we can, we can take it from there. But, uh, yeah, I hope to get up to your place in June. Sounds and, good. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a good test, that's for sure. Now, in the future, you would like to start your own YouTube channel, is that correct? Yeah, it's a, it's a strong possibility once I uh, start going off and, you know, get my kayaks on there and my generator and being self-sufficient, some solar panels on the roof, uh, you know, go to some fishing holes, shoot some uh, some off-grid videos, um, you know, Perfect. just camping and boondocking in various locations. And up where you are, I mean, there's all kinds of great spots. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you couldn't run out of them. No, that's so, right. That's right. Uh, it, it's just perfect. So that's the big plan for it. Um, I'm glad I got it early now. It gives me time to get it all together before the summer. For and, sure. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Hope it rolls good and rolls as good as it looks. I, I can't <laughs> believe the condition it is in. Look, look at that, folks. Like, uh, to me, uh, I mean, you don't find them in this condition as far as I know. This yeah. age, this, this time period, it's a 1977, and, and whoever has had it before has really taken care of it, I think. And, uh, 
like I can't believe it to I had an old van like the same same dash like they're they're cool and I love the metal structures I don't yeah. think that's factories I think somebody no, added that probably. I think somebody added that and uh, yeah it's a nice little touch all the way around it's uh, a little support but you know it's crazy because the ceilings on these are a big water hazard and uh, you know it's 39 years old it, it's crazy the floor is even firm you know like it, there's oh, yeah. no and it's, it's, it's crazy because a lot of them go really bad right near the step here right where at least terrible probably where people come in and uh you know the, the water and stuff yeah, from their boots here, eh? or maybe leakage around the door but i wonder it almost i don't know if that's original floor if they've you redone know, it at one time yeah i think it's a it's a redo a lot of these had like that shade carpet in it okay you know back in the 70s the big shade cruiser and all that stuff so yeah everything works in here too it, it even the air conditioning on the ceiling which i apparently is a rare option yeah it's like a, a 77 it's really nice um, now what is this is this a that's a battery control monitoring station so this would have had i wonder if this had an early inverter yeah um i got some stuff here i don't know a lot about it but i know there's a couple of batteries in the back so it, it's probably not all 12 volt, right? I wouldn't think so. No, and there's a panel in here. And I'm not even sure what this thing is. Well, that's your breaker box. Uh, but, no, uh, I don't know if that... Uh, I'd have to look, but that may be an inverter in the back. That may that may convert that over to... ACDC kind of thing. Maybe, I, I, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Really sure. I'd have to look. and it, It's kind of dark in here for me to yeah, see right Yeah, I can't really see either, but I haven't really got into that a whole lot yet. It says, it says right here, Electrical Systems Control Center. Oh. So, I mean, maybe, maybe some older people out there uh, on my channel has maybe owned one of these at one time and, and uh, could maybe post a few comments yeah, below maybe. and let us know, you know, uh, what that's for uh you know maybe see someone's redid the speaker see like they yeah. did a really good job that matches the yeah, curtains the, the overall condition for 39 years old was amazing and the speedometer you know it's got 51,000 on it incredible and uh you know maybe it's fun around to 151 i don't know but the digits are all lining straight. up great yeah, yeah so you know, so it probably has not board around. so yeah Hard to say for sure, but you know, the overall condition, whoever had it took pretty decent care of it. Yeah. And I mean, it shows and everything works. And the one thing that really, RV bathrooms especially, are never great. You know, they're always pretty tacky mm -hmm. yeah. most of the time or and whatever. And small. And one that's 39 years old, when I went to look at it, I thought, this is going to be the worst thing ever. But you know what? When I walk in here and take a, a look around there, for it's got a full stand-up shower. Wow, um, that is that is nice. You know, for the Look at that. for the year, no uh, water damage no, on the ceiling. It's, it's crazy. It, it, Even like uh, I, I hope this is showing up really good. I think it would. I think it will. Usually this is. Uh, Usually pretty good. Now look at look at that tub. That is, yeah, and I guess that's another option. Like a tub in here is kind of a, a weird deal, but tub. you know what? Tub and a shower. Yeah, it's there. And I it's I don't think you shape. can see it, but anyway, it's no, it's really really nice. This is something I want to get myself later, folks. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> anyway, this is something I want to get later on, folks. For maybe in the winter months, if things slow down, or maybe this time of the year. When it gets to that time of the year where the snow is starting to break up and I can't get to the bush and there's not right. too much to do around my place because it's mud, like I always say, we have three seasons up my way. We have winter, summer, and mud. That's our three seasons. Yeah. And the mud season, I can't do anything because if I start moving around, I just rut my yard up worse because, yeah. you know, I get on the tractor and it sinks. It's got a loader. Something like this, I can take off somewhere, yeah. go where it's warmer. You know, spend maybe a month away. And load the dog, load Heather, go have some have some relaxed time, yeah. you know, and then gear up for summer again and hit it hard again in the summer. Yeah, and that's the beauty part of it. Like when you have a dog and you're traveling, this seemed like the best bet to yes. me. Uh, that way the dog can be right here with me, um, you know, truck and trailer. Thought about that, but I mean, you know, I don't want a big four-door truck. And then I have like a 28 foot trailer on behind. I want something simple, easy, and to get into the spots that I want to fish and hang out. Just be yes. with nature, right? I mean, this thing 
It's got lots of clearance. So, you know, uh, I can get to some spots that I couldn't get an outfit like that into. And to that's, that's pretty important for me. For sure, right? For sure. And I think when you have something like this, when you, you know, it was always a dream of mine to start doing this. And, you know, I watch it. It's a very romantic lifestyle and just unplug in and go do whatever you want. Well, it's, it's captured me. I've been yeah. watching some videos and uh, but I, you I, have I like to, you have to uh, see what your needs are what you want like you know the the pretty ones and the nice expensive guys if you're gonna take them through the bush and whatever not gonna look pretty and nice yeah, anymore yeah you're gonna depreciate it pretty yeah. fast so i would rather get something that's um and plus you get the chance to make it your own and, right? and it's been that's proven exactly you, you don't want to buy something new I find a lot of problems coming yeah. along with it this this has been proven i mean yeah this this is older but it's solid it's it's not yeah i've been in some new ones as soon as you step on the floor, even new, they kind right. of feel spongy. Yeah. Maybe um, it's the underlay, I'm not sure, but some of them feel spongy. Well, and the thing is, you know, the same as everything, everything's mass produced today. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, it's cheap. It's mass produced. Unless you're spending a lot of money and going for high end, that's the specialty market. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and yeah. let's face it, we don't want to spend I, a lot of money and go high end. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> and, and Well, and we want to wind down to at our age perhaps i don't want to go out and take on a big mortgage no hell no i mean you get something like this so maybe you can simplify your life exactly. make things you know a little easier a little less worry you don't have to worry about scratch something like you say and yeah and, you know it's it's a great wind down time exactly and that's what it is little investment great fun yes right and that's uh, simplicity is the key to everything in life and I feel that this year, for the amount of money, I mean, I paid 2000 bucks for it. A uh, great deal, I thought, um, compared to what was out there. $2,000 doesn't buy you a lot these days, no. but it can buy you a lot of freedom. That's right. right? That's right. And a lot of fun. So, yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of fun, small bills. Hey, who can't smile with that, right? So, that's right. And that's the key to everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Fun. Okay, folks, on that note, anyway... Uh it's uh, my cousin Don, and I'm down here, like I say, uh, Port Port Bruce. It's about seven 700 kilometers, I guess, to here from my place. So it took us quite a while. We left at 5.30 in the morning. We got down here, I think, somewhere around, was it 5 o'clock we got yeah, here? Yeah, right around the 5-ish mark, yeah. We, we did a little bit of stopping and looking around. Not too much, though. Anyway, we're going to leave it at that. So if, if Don decides to start a, a YouTube channel once he gets this going, or maybe before even... I will send you folks a link to his channel, and maybe you can follow him in in uh, his uh, his new new lifestyle that he uh, wants to venture out in. I'm sure it'll be part time for now. Well, yeah, part time, and the first venture is going to be up to your place. So, <laughs> yeah, you know it, that'll so, be awesome. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, anyway, folks, you guys take care. Talk to you later. Bye bye. All right. See you later. Mm -hmm.